people think that intimacy is about sex but intimacy is about truth when you realize you can tell someone your truth when you can show yourself to them when you stand in front of them bare and their response is you are safe with me that's intimacy hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and join the family and if you're a returning subscriber mm, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it if you're new to the channel i post bookish content and lifestyle content and sometimes hair content and sometimes well whatever pops in my head <laughs> at that moment anyway in today's video i'm going to be talking about the books i read in june oh my god so i read 10 books in june but i read only four physical books only four physical books and i read six books on my kindle that's not bad but you know i wanted to read more physical books but anyway i'm working on that for this month for july i'm working on that rapid fire i just want to tell you guys books that i did not read because i did not read from the tbr we chose i did not read six of them well no five of them but i read 10 books i like it's so cr okay so i read uh, i i did not read get a life chloe brown maybe in another life i wanted to i was this close I didn't even pick up Beach Read, actually. I didn't pick it up at all. I don't know why. One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. This was one of the wrapped books and I wish I read it. I wish, but, you know, it happens like that sometimes. Verity, okay, by Colin Hoover. I was about to. I already picked up my tabs and I was like, okay, I'm going to start reading it. I even, t um, yeah, I was like, okay, I'm going to read it, you know. But I didn't get to it. So, yes. Now let's talk about the books that I read in June. So the first book I read is Out Across the Lake by Riley Sager. This is a thriller and it's about a woman. She lost her husband in a tragic way and so she was sent to this house and the house is on the lake. So she's always using these binoculars to peep into her, her neighbor's house. So she starts to discover some things, uh, something is wrong with this family and all that and all that. We're following this woman's life, what happened to her and everything. Some things were being revealed. <laughs> there were two twists in this book. The first twist I already guessed, but the second twist was so unexpected because it felt like I was watching Scooby Dooby Doo because it, it just went in another direction. And the funniest part was that the all build up to that twist was so good i was so invested it was fast paced but we got to that main twist and it was like seriously like seriously anyway i gave it a four stars so the next book i read is uh, the grisha verse series like i said i was going to prioritize the shadow and the bones trilogy this month so i read the 0.1 i think this is the first part before we even go into the shadow and the bone so i read this book and it just talks about how the world is i think it's a very very good book for you to read if you want to actually read the shadow and the bone trilogy because it explains the different powers the the whole hierarchy and the darkling it was actually really captivating i really enjoyed it and i kind of read the book twice because i didn't know that the second one was the illustrated version i thought it was another part of this of this trilogy but i still enjoyed it so i read the story and then the illustrated version and i gave both of them four four stars yeah i even preferred the illustrated version more because it was faster to read the next book i read was the shadow and the bone trilogy this not the trilogy oh my god the shadow and the bone the first book in the grisha verse and i gave this one four stars it was actually very fast paced and easy to understand it's about a girl and a boy they were orphans and as orphans in that particular world you are to be tested if you are a grisha or you are a normal human and if you're a grisha you'll be taken to a particular place where you would hone in on your powers and practice and become better and as humans somehow somehow you're like slaves not really slaves but you work so hard for the grisha so this particular girl and this particular guy were tested but not well tested and it turned out that one of them had powers so that that person had to be separated and then we go on like that on like that and we get into the dark lane more it's a little bit of a love triangle because she's in love with her friend and then she feels like she's in love with another person and at the end of the day it turned out to be okay who is she going to be in love with who really really cares who is saying the truth and stuff like that i really enjoyed it but i just felt like the girl 
Alina, at that point where she was supposed to kill a particular animal, she was annoying me. The next book I read is Not In My Book by Katie Holt. Oh my god, this book was five stars. Let me just say it already. It's an ARC and it's going to be published on December 10th, 2024. It's Enemies to Lovers and it's a contemporary romance, but this Enemies to Lovers was really done well. I know it cannot be I want to kill you kind of vibes, but no, not like fantasy, but I love their banter, the way they were coming at each other. Oh my god. So two of them are literature students. They are writers, but they are practicing they're in the school of writing to learn how to write more <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying learning to become better writers so he writes fiction lit fic she writes romance and he has a thing against romance writers it feels like romance is the cheapest way out and stuff like that so their enemies she's trying to prove herself is trying to get rid of her basically so things turn and turn and the, the coolest part i love about this book is the fact that inside this story you are reading the story they themselves are writing another story so we see glimpses of their particular feelings inside the story they are writing about because uh you know first person <laughs> first proximity came into play where they were forced to come together to write a book because they were always cussing katakata in the class so yeah it was so good honestly guys the banter the quotes everything i really really love this ah the tension let me read one of the quotes i want to be the person you picture when you are reading and dreaming because you are who i picture every single time i love you in light and dark in romance and litific in this lifetime and the next let me read another one we'll make mistakes we'll learn lessons and we'll be tested but we'll come out so much stronger on the underside i was shameless in my wanting i tried to commit every little thing the way her eyes fell closed the way she tasted to memory there was no metaphor i could write picture i could paint that would even come close to comparing to the magic of her I feel like I didn't read it well, but you guys understand. This was a five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. The next book I read is Hello Beautiful by Anne Napolitano. This is a literary fiction. I body read this with my friends, Ore and Kenny, and then they, they left me to eat their dust because they were faster than me. I was actually kind of slow with this book. But compared to other literary fictions I've read, this was very easy to read actually very very easy because i could just follow through with the story it was not boring so it talks about williams julia and sylvie julia and sylvie are sisters although they have other sisters too william was born in a very bad circumstance because his parents gave birth to him and the day his parents brought him home his sister died so the parents were depressed and the way they brought him up was actually horrible because he felt like they were wishing that he was the one who died instead of her and i can't blame the parents but then again i can't blame william so he grew up like that with this mindset of he's not wanted so his first love was basketball then he fell in love with julia because julia was the first person to actually really really show in any form of interest in him but some things just happened along the way with the family she brought him into her family and then uh it was accepted it was cherished but you know he still has this inferiority complex he still has this depression he still has this belief that nothing good is meant for him and then we start to go along with him how it affects his life what happens and then sylvie believes that a right person for her is gonna come very soon so she is waiting for that person it's got so messy it got so crazy but a little bit unrealistic as a point because please you can't do such to me and i will forgive you just that. most especially rose the mother to these girls and then uh guys you just need to read it i gave it a 4.5 stars and my friends also gave it a 4.5 star each so it was a very nice read i think you would love it because there were so many nice um quotes the the feeling of love the feeling the feeling of loss the feeling of friendship the feeling of sisterhood family everything is in this book and i really loved it there's a quote in it that i really really liked it says when an old person dies even if that person is wonderful he or she is still somewhat ready and so are the people who loved them they are like old trees whose roots have loosened in the ground they fall gently but when someone dies before their time the roots get pulled 
out and the ground is ripped open. Everyone nearby is in danger of being kicked or knocked over. And I see that quote explains grief extends grief yes i didn't give it a five stars because i felt like there were so many messy scenarios and it was not really looking like something that is going to happen in real life in that particular way although i know i'm not supposed to judge fiction with real life but you know sometimes some stories just you know are realistic in a way even though they are fiction but it was sad it was sad my friend kenny cried or i said it was sad i Felt the sadness, but I did not cry and I wanted to cry. So that was one of the reasons why I, I didn't give it a five stars. Ignite Me by Tehera Mafi. This is the third book in the Shatter Me series. From the second book, we already see what happened. The whole fight and everything. So here it's elaborated on and here I, I really like this third book because we get to see Aaron's character develop. We get to see Kenji being much more funny it was so funny i was just laughing because it made this book much more fun to be quite honest and then jay juliet <laughs> all of a sudden kenji started calling her jay so i'm already calling her jay too anyway so we get to see juliet becoming different putting on a whole different character a whole different persona because now she's now badass she's more determined she's uh, strong-willed and she matches Aaron's character oh my god and Aaron we get to see more about Aaron and understand him deeper honestly I really enjoyed it I gave it a five star I don't know I feel like I've given all the books in this series five stars <laughs> oh my god so the next book I read is Letter and Lack Butcher and Blackbird was book one and this one was the book two it was actually very very different from the book one in a way because in book one like i said there was no solid reason for them going on this killing rampage but in this book two we see a solid reason because lack had a very very solid reason for doing that which i liked and also the old personality it was enemies to lovers lack and leather they didn't like each other because of how they met then they met again at i don't know i've forgotten the book one's characters names but they met again at the party and you could feel their chemistry yeah but when they realized who they were to one another, they started hating each other again. But something, something happened where they had to do a marriage of convenience kind of thing. And so it goes from there. Honestly, I really enjoyed this one because I was listening alongside. I was immersion reading. Now I know the, the word where you are reading and listening at the same time. Immersion reading. The voice actors were so good oh my god it was so funny they had an accent and it was oh my god oh my god and um leather is grumpy like very grumpy so, ooh, guys there was one scene on the stage where she had a toy and he was with the remote and these were very crazy <laughs> honestly I really like this one maybe because of the voice actors i don't know but i really enjoyed myself i was just laughing i could not put down the book i was just laughing it was in my opinion better than the book one the next book i read is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jackie's read this is one of my favorite authors so what do you expect of course it was a hit for me so it talks about this particular lady sir evelyn hugo our life from how she got away from the slums to popularity, how she paved the way for herself, basically. And then she contacted a particular journalist to write a story. And we see why she picked that particular journalist. Honestly, that part got emotional when we discover how they are linked. But, oh my God, it was sad. So, um, I love how Evelyn Hugo was very, very strong. Her character is strong and also brutal at the same place because she knows what she wants and she goes for it. She doesn't care about any other thing. But then she started caring for one particular person. And there was a statement in this book that she said, oh, I know everybody's interested in my seven husbands, but I think he'll be much more interested in my wife. So she's bisexual and she does not want to be labeled lesbian. So it's it was very, very cool honestly i at one point i felt like it was a real person i was reading about because it was just so captivating and the things she was going through the truths there were so many words like advice or uh would i call them adage or proverbs in this book that i'm like okay wow wow people think that intimacy is about sex but intimacy is about truth when you realize you can tell someone your truth when you can show yourself to them, when you stand in front of them bare and their response is, you are safe with me.
that's intimacy honestly there were so many other notes like that that i just kept on tabbing and tabbing you should know this about the rich they always want to get richer it's never boring getting your hands on more money <laughs> there's another one here that says sometimes divorce isn't an earth shattering loss sometimes it's just two people waking up out of a fog even the girl that was called her name is monique the, the journalist she also had some things that she was struggling with in her life and listening to evelyn's story gave her some kind of courage gave her some kind of strength to break free from some of these things and it was it was a very very nice read honestly it was a five star it's worth the hype so the next book i read is the girl with the louding voice by abi dowry i've not read any book like this before when i say that i mean i have not read any book written like this because even though it was written in pidgin english it was not only in pidgin english it was written in illiterate english like the girl Aduni comes from a very very like a very poor background like uh, from a village where um, There are these beliefs surrounding ladies. Okay, once they are 14 years old you go into your husband's house and uh, Like it's uh, it was so annoying anyway So we talk about her and how her father sold her into marriage to an older man And then how some things happened there that she had to run away from there And then she landed in Lagos in the hands of another wicked ma big madame But there's always one thing that she took along with her is the fact that her mother always told her to go to school her mother always told her to be learned and she always held on to that she loved she wanted to be a teacher so she never gave up hope she was hopeful eh. oh i thought it was not recording <laughs> she meets different people she meets oh my god this book was so sad so because of the way it was written and you all know i'm an english teacher <laughs> my mind was subconsciously correcting the grammar so it was really frustrating for me at first so i went on youtube and i searched and i saw a lady that was reading aloud to her mother her mother is losing her sight so she decided to read aloud to her mother and so i listened to some chapters and while i was reading so it made it easier for me to understand like not keep trying to correct the english and then I stopped listening to her and I continued reading and I ended it like that. Honestly, this book was sad. You go through all the hardship she went through. Oh my God. Little girls were just disregarded in those days. And also so many weird things that rich people do. And um, slavery, but you know, not that kind of slavery where they sell you in chains. This was slavery where they send you, sell you to someone and then person is treating you bad. Also, there's there's a little bit of rape in here and yes we just see how she came out of all that and thanks to some people that were around her even though there were demons around her yeah there were also some people that were angels honestly it was very very good read i gave it a 4.5 stars because i felt like the author was trying too hard to make aduni uh illiterate but there were some expressions that an illiterate person would not be able to express i don't know how to say it but she wrote it in the book so i'm like mm, these words and illiterate if you if you if you really really want to portray this person that the person cannot speak good english correct english then this person is not supposed to know some of these words but they were written down here so anyway aside that the book was really good i think you should read it i loved how aduni even though she was going through all these things i loved how she was always inquisitive ready to learn she was always asking questions her questions were too much the book was funny at some point oh my god no 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 and also the fact that she's very smart she she was very smart because there were some things that i felt like oh my god oh my god she, you need to do this and then she did that and i'm like okay thank god thank god because i was scared i thought she was gonna die you know ah now wow and also all these misconceptions in nigeria are regarding children regarding ladies regarding male children versus female children like it's it was portrayed in this book and there was also some parts where um facts nigerian facts were also told in the book and i really enjoyed reading them because some of those facts i never even knew nigerians can spend a lot of money on party that one is true everybody knows that one nigerians oh god their own party wow say so nigerians did not need a visa to travel to the united kingdom until 1984 i didn't even know that one I had a very good reading month, you know. I had a lot of four stars, a lot of 4.5, and I think I got five stars too. Please let me know which books you read, which books you think I should get into ASAP, and I'll see you guys in my next video. You're wondering why I have purple hair. 
it's because I was filming an ASMR video and I was like, okay, let me just use this hair and do this video. But that's, that's like an information that you did not ask for. Um, but I'm gladly giving it to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces. And no, I feel like I just was no, no, no. There was no metaphor could no met. There was no metaphor or could write. Oh, let's take it thumbnail.